Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And oh, we got we got a call here. Hello. Hello. You call yourself a Souls Baron, but do you know how many quest lines you missed so far? I don't actually call myself a Souls Veteran. Plenty is how many you miss, you bloody daft kid. I don't actually know what that means. I'll throw you in a black hole and keep you there. Listen, just go to the church of vows and repent for your sins. And why is that? Because the dark and saloon has botched up the whole Rami Kustlanya daft prick. Well, that's dumb. The, the dude was a prick and he had it coming. And what does that make you? Well, you, you got a point there. Anyway. As I was saying, how's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are having a, a good day. And uh, yeah, I've received quite a lot of comments that apparently uh, attacking Saluvis breaks the Ronnie quest line, which I actually think it's kind of dumb. Because I mean, Ronnie specifically says, you know, do with them as you will. She, it doesn't say anything that me attacking literally any of them would be a problem. Which is why I thought that I could attack Saluvis and it would be okay. I'm actually kind of sad that attacking Saluvis breaks the quest. Because I kind of feel like that's bad design for that specific quest. She specifically says she's using them and I should use them as well. So I was like, well, doesn't seem like she cared that much. But yeah, I, you know, we'll be going to the Church of Sins. and because Here's the thing. There's no way that I could have predicted that attacking Saluvis would be a problem. So that is something that I do want to do. So I appreciate the comments on that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do there. Also, I've ran into Gold Mask a couple of times in this bridge. And I haven't talked with him because it's just like, hey, whatever. I have to do it on screen, right? So let's go ahead and see if he has anything to say. I don't think he's going to say anything. I think last time that I met him was on the exact opposite side of this bridge. So we'll see. Does he say anything? No. No. He's just like aiming all the way over there. I wonder if he moves if I was to like move to a different location. I, I wonder if he moves every time that you talk to him. I'm not sure if that is the case or not, but we can find out. Because like, you know, teleporting, reset stuff. And now I can travel all the way back to the bridge where I initially found him. Maybe he'll have moved to a different place, or maybe he'll still be in the same place. Or maybe that was the place that I found him to begin with. I genuinely don't remember if this was the first place I found him in, but... Yeah, he's still there. He's still all the way there, and it doesn't look like that's going to be changing. I don't... I think that this is going to be one of those quest lines that we miss out on. I thought that the priest boy, I forget his name, was looking for him, but, you know... Uh, I don't know if this goes anywhere from there. But besides that, like I said, we will be going to the Church of Vows, which is here. And we will be absolving for our sins. And I will be going back to uh, Ronnie's Rise. I mean, the thing was, I went to Rena's Rise and people were telling me, uh, the, even friends of mine told me this, that the fact that I attacked Saluvis broke the quest. And I just... Again, I fundamentally disagree with that. Wait, what the hell? Not you again. Why? Well, at least this one doesn't hurt as much as the last one. This one's a much easier one. He's still annoying. I don't know. There's something about this dude's moveset. Oh crap, I still have Warcraft. That's fine. Did 
Did I just block that whole thing? Dude! He's so relentless! I was like, where'd the turtle go? <laughs> meat peddler's bell bearing. I don't know, dude. I don't care about your meat. Right? I ain't I ain't interested. Uh where's the oh here we go. You just like randomly run into these dudes. Alright. Can you talk to me now? I killed the bell bearer or whatever. Greetings. Yes, I need you. Actually, here's the prayer book. Here's the oh, two fingers prayer well. book. Heresy is not all things yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, was it to the experience the miracle? Kneel in the basin. Oh, right. Leave. I have to do it over here. Let's go ahead and pop that. Atone. Yes. Your sins are absolved. Very well. But, as I was... Actually, I don't know if I said it or not at this point, because we were rudely interrupted by the bell-bearing hunter. My least favorite enemy. Um, but the... The thing was, I had actually gone to Rena's Rise, and it was interesting, because friends of mine were, were asking me, like, did you go back to Rena's Rise? And I'm like, yeah! You guys can probably see it in the video. I went back to Rena's Rise plenty of times. And it's always been closed. And the thing is, apparently Smack and Saluvis just seals that place forever. Which is annoying. I'm, I am kind of sad that I never got to see- wait, what? Why is there a side of grace here now? I came here earlier, there was nothing here. It's literally pointing towards Rena's rise. Yep, we broke the quest when we smacked Saluvis around. We definitely did. But I mean, come on, let's be real here. Saluvis had it coming! Trying to poison- Actually, I don't know if he was trying to poison, I mean... But the way that he was speaking, Yes, I need you to administer... A potion. Yes. Yes, the potion. I wonder if that also made Blythe disappear. The fact that I smacked Saluvis around is the reason why I never saw Blythe again. God, that makes me so sad. That makes me so incredibly sad. It's like, I like Blythe. Blythe was a nice guy. Why Why does Blythe associate himself... Well, you know, Blythe and Eiji, why do they associate themselves with, um... With Saluvis? Saluvis is just such a piece of trash. At least that's my interpretation. I mean, even his, even his demeanor, he's just like a piece of trash, that guy. Yeah, now it's open and I can go to Rena's Rise. Of course. I'm actually a little bit sad about that. I wish we could kill Saluvis. Why they don't allow me to kill Saluvis is beyond me. Ooh, there's a chest here. What's this? Snow Witch hat, Snow Witch robe, Snow Witch skirts. Yeah, you miss out on a lot if you smack Saluvis around. Worst part is I was planning on smacking his ass in my next playthrough, too. There's a portal. Where does this go to? Wait, what? We've been through here. Miniature Ronnie. The 
The doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Would I be able to give the doll to... Her? Because she's supposedly her mother, right? Ah, thou. Is it thy wish? No. Oh. Be not alone. Wait, maybe. Maybe it's Sir Gideon Offnir. Maybe Sir Gideon Offnir would know. Because he was also looking for Ronnie. Gideon. Nope. No dice. So if Gideon doesn't know, and Renala doesn't know, um. Saluvis. <laughs> oh no, is that why? Because Saluvis has to be the one to do it? No. Please. Not like this. I'm check Saluvis and EG and I would check Blythe, but I don't know where the hell Blythe is, so pfft, whatever. I hate Saluvis, dude. He's such a piece of trash. And again, it's like I don't know enough about his motive. I'm being very uh whatchamacallit? Judgmental? Is that what you call it? Prejudiced? I think it's prejudiced. Oh crap. Did I get punished? I think I got punished. Oh! <laughs> Sucks to be you, buddy. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Saluvis is bell bearing. Ah. Preceptor's big hat. Preceptor's long gown. Preceptor's gloves. Perce Aw, I'm so sad. Finger maiden, Therolina puppet. Oh, I can buy it from with starlight shards. Interesting. Jar White Puppet. Summons Jar White Spirit. Summons Finger Maiden Therolina. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll buy both of those. I don't care. So this dude deals in Starlight Shards? So does that mean I can... Um, does that mean I can, like, buy more things? That makes me happy, though. Yeah, fuck that guy. Guy was an asshole. Guy was an absolute asshole. I'm being prejudiced again. I'm sorry. Actually, I don't care. Fuck him. Also, Meat Peddler's Bell Bearing and Saluvis is Bell Bearing. And now Bell Bearing Shop 1, Saluvis. Uh, no, he actually deals in souls. Carrion Phalanx. Numerous magic glint blades. Glintstone Ice Crag, Freezing Mist. Carrion Retaliation. Okay. I'm assuming that the meat thing gives me this turtle neck meat, lump of flesh and sliver of meat. I think. Maybe. Potentially. Who knows? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We can buy up the Ghost Glowvort 9, but I can only buy up the Smithing Stone 6! Fuck! This, piss this actually pisses me off. It really does, because I, I know that what that means is that I've missed something. Something very crucial. And it is so incredibly frustrating to miss something as crucial as, like, a smithing. Because, like, ev everybody's been telling me, Rurikon, it's so easy to just get, get like, smithing stones that you can upgrade all the way. And I'm like, no, it's not! I don't have it! I don't fucking have them! I don't have them at all! The fuck do you mean? Anyway, 
Um, yeah, let's go to EG. Let's see what EG has to say. Yep, EG's back. Guys, remember when you came here and he wasn't around? It's because we smacked Saluvis around like little bitch he is. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey. Okay. Along the dark path of Empyrean, from Rena's rise, as she calls it, it would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. Okay. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Lady Rani, along the... Now Lady I pray that you... Okay. Don't hit me with that thing. Something else. Lady Rani has to along the dark. Let's see if we reset if it'll change its tune. <clears throat> Wait, is Melina here? She's literally in my hands. So it'd be cool to find Blythe, but I don't know where Blythe is at this point. Where else can we take this stall? It says that it's cool. It said something about the path of the Empyrean. Well, the Empyrean supposedly is my Kella. Uh, and we know where my Kella is. Would I be able to use Ronnie here? No. Okay. Then I don't know. Uh, also, I gotta swap my Ash of War. She's cool. Maybe the fire? I don't know. I don't want to, like, yeet Ronnie into the fire. If that's what eventually needs to happen. I'm a little bit lost as to what to do about Rani. He's gone on her journey, path of the Empyrean, and also, oh, the you can just like summon these. Jada White Puppet. Summons Jar White Spirit. I think that the Jar White just Why are these different? Like you see how you have these ones? Like I know that. This is like most basic stuff. Interesting. Does a nomad have like madness stuff? He does. But I know that these are like the most basic, then these are slightly more advanced, and then these are like legendary. What the fuck are these then? Because the legendaries are already like characters in and of themselves. Like you have Omen Killer Rolo, Black Monk Amon. Dragon Knight Kristoff, Stormhawk Dean, Latena, and then in here you have Finger Maidens, and I don't know. Therolina Puppet. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, um, I did actually change the the ash. I did actually change. Okay, I changed the ashes. So, oh, I also need to do my crimson flasks. Uh, cause I swapped all to health because you needed you needed at least three guaranteed flasks for the Lord of Blood fight. So I just added more flasks because I was struggling with it. I didn't really need mana. So that puts us all the way back here, which is the final zone to explore. 
And we have Ronnie with us now, I guess. Again, her description doesn't really give me a particularly good idea of what I'm supposed to do with her. And I know that some people read this like, oh, it's obvious! From head to toe, every detail is perfect. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose that this is her and her, like, miniaturized, but... Anyway, I'm gonna be going back, uh, here maybe? Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna start straight off of Ordina. Because I know the last place that we were exploring before we went to Mogwin. And we're gonna continue exploring there to make sure that we get every last, uh, inch of this land. So we were around here when we ditched. No, not you again. No. Okay, let's see if I can find that uh, that portal that we went down to. Is that a stake? Why is there a stake of Marika here? Why? Why does there need to be a stake? Well, there's a big ass rune bear here. What the hell is that? Is that... Well, oh, it's just a bunch of rune bears, but wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you have a stake specifically here? I'm guessing there's supposed to be a boss fight around here. Did we fight something already? I don't remember fighting anything around here. Could it be that that... Yeah, see, right here. I'm looking to see how far the effect extends. Yeah, it extends quite a bit. It looks like this is supposed to be an arena of some kind. Again, I don't remember if I've already fought a boss here. I don't think so. I'm gonna jot down this particular stake. I'm gonna put a skull on it. Maybe return here at nighttime. Maybe it's because this is where the dude is supposed to invade you. Because remember, we did get invaded by Blood Guy around here. Okay, the Rune Bear is awake. There's another rune bear over there, and I believe that this is where the portal was, right? Yep, there's the portal. There's an Albanoric there. So the location that we want to explore is going to be to the left. Does the stake reach over here? It doesn't. Because, like, this is where I actually fought him, but maybe dude invades further back because it took him a while to get here. Yeah, I think that stake is here in case you die to that guy that was there. I don't expect to find a whole lot uh, here, to be honest. It's just mostly a completionist thing. Let's explore this way. Maybe that'll be a cave or something on the edge of the mound. Maybe that'll just be a black sheep. Statue. Probably with loot. Yep. Which means we need something big. We need something big to come and break that statue. And there's a knight over there, I think. So let me see what I can find. Oh. This is great. A rune bear. Now listen, I'm sorry to disturb your sleep and do you dirty like this, but wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Is he literally the only rune bear that doesn't follow me all over the goddamn map? Are you kidding me? There you go. Is he the slowest rune bear known to man? Is he gonna fall as- What?! 
Are you joking? Like, dude, rune bears are usually so aggro. They will chase you across the... What? Is it friggin' Yogi Bear or something? Come on. The hell? Dude, this is the most passive rune bear I've ever seen. Oh, God damn it. Come on, Moon Bear, thank you. Smithing Stone 7, Smithing Stone 8. Still not gonna be enough. Oh, now you're all aggro. Dude, that menu is terrible. Look, just consume the potion instantly. Don't ask me about it, just use it. Fucking dude, I will murder you, bear! I don't wanna fight it, it's annoying. HP sponge. Jesus Christ! I hate rune bears, dude. They're just big HP sponges. Annoying as hell. What the hell? That mausoleum nukes things. I'll take these, thank you very much. And I believe that there was an item back here also, right? Isn't there an item back here? I swear I saw an item back here somewhere. Doesn't matter. Probably not that important. Okay, so let's go ahead and take down that mausoleum, which I think is like one of the last things that we can do around here. Not that I actually need the muscle. I haven't used a single one. I have not used a single one. Because I haven't used boss souls at all. Let's grab this. Oh damn, that's a lot of knights. Do 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 do. Ooh! Ooh! Dude, not cool. Good, break that. Break another one. And you got some dirty ass feet. Tell you what. Okay, this feet's clean. This one's got like the dirtiest feet of all. more 
Do I have to clean more than two in this one? Did I miss anything here? Usually two of them does as well. Oh no 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 don't crush me. There you go. That's another one down. Oh interesting. This is a safe spot where you're supposed to interact with characters. She is massive! Apostate derelict. Silver mirror shield. Summon Lantenna. O oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorics. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. That's cool. So we completed her quest. Her quest was to come here and do this. Apostate derelict. And I think that that's mo well. Now we need to do the Erd tree, obviously. The minor Erd tree that is around there. He's definitely breathing. Okay. <clears throat> that was interesting. And there's the jellyfish here. Look at all the jellyfish boys. Jellyfish boys! Jellyfish boys for life! Although I didn't, never really upgraded Jellyfish Boy. The Jellyfish Boy is awesome. Jellyfish Girl, actually. I keep forgetting it's it's a girl. Somber Smithing Stone 9. Dude, I have so many Somber Smithing... Can I get regular Smithing Materials, please? Because apparently... Somber Smithing Weapons ain't my thing. Very sad. Very sad. Would there be a cave here? Oh, but there's things here. Ooh, that's a death drop. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Is that a little gap there? No? Oh, okay. So, onwards to the earth tree. Because I don't really think there will be anything else in here. Is that like a knight from the mausoleum or something? I think these are knights from the mausoleum, right? Yep, these are from the mausoleum, so they're not as important. So, we're gonna move on. We're gonna go past... Uh, or what's the name of this? Or Orinda? Or Lina? Bumfuck city that I do not care for. Hey Albanorix, could you not attack me considering what I just did for like your your whole species? Oh right, there's this dude that I never killed. Are you the one that's gonna give me that sweet axe of yours? Can I have that? I love how he can't even get- not only not get past my shield, 
But on top of it, he gets he bounces back. It's great. Burn, baby, burn. Ba boom. And another one. Ba Bam. Now die. Can I get that axe, please? Round. Yes. Fucking thank you! It's a colossal weapon! Scales with... Fucking dexterity for some reason. Why? Why does it scale with dexterity? Please explain. Please explain to me! Please help me understand. This is a weapon that requires 30 strength! 30 strength! Best I can do for you is descaling with dexterity. Thanks. Worst part is that it looks really good. I like it. Like, look at this. This is awesome. I love this weapon. Why does it suck so bad? It's got, like, what, Endure or something? Yeah, Endure. Great axe designed for gladiatorial combat, now festering with scarlet rot, used by duelists who are exiled from the Colosseum. <sighs> Dude. If I put an Ash of War in this, how much is it gonna suck? That's what I want to know. If I put an Ash of War in this, how much is it actually going to absolutely suck? Let's check it out. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Ashes of War. Let's put like, I don't know. Let's just say, let's just say Crag Blade. Not even Crag. Uh, let's give it War Cry. Whatever. War Cry Heavy. C. Wait, but it removes the dexterity scaling, so it might actually become good. It might actually become good, and it keeps the Scarlet Rot buildup, which is good. This is actually... This is actually legit. This is actually a weapon I could see myself wielding as opposed to the Prelate's Hammer. Problem is, I don't have the materials to upgrade it. Because I bet you that this thing... No, it's, there's no way this thing upgrades with, like, Shadowed or whatever. Right? I mean, I, I can check. We can check real quick, but there is no way that this thing upgrades with Shadow. But either way, I would love to have this as a secondary weapon. It's just a damn shame that I found it now, which I believe we're like super close to the end. And this is when I get this. Well, I took you from that match. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms, then. Uh, strengthen armament? Yep, smithing stones, man. Best I can do for you is smitten stones. Sucks. It's not going to be able to go that high, I don't think. But, uh... Sure, I'll take it as high as it can go, maybe. I don't know, I'm very indecisive about this. Because that Scarlet Rot buildup is actually significant. That's actually pretty beast. Sure, let's go for it. <laughs> I upgraded once, it's like, nope, <laughs> no more materials. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, let's just, like, I'll, I'll do the materials thing and I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so I ran out of runes, so what I decided was I'm basically gonna go and deal with, um, deal with the earth tree here, which is probably gonna give me a chunk of runes, and that way I don't have to use hard runes. Uh, so yeah, we'll just deal with the Earth Tree Spirit that's around here, and then we can upgrade it some more. This is probably going to be the last weapon that I upgrade at this at this rate, because, you know, we just don't have materials. I'm assuming, like I said, that I'm missing some smithing bell-bearing things, but I, I don't know where to get them. So I don't know. Oh, we got Albinorix up here. Ooh, we got lightning. Thunder and lightning came crashing down! Hit D 
the earth and split the ground. Fire! I f oh man, I forgot part of the lyrics. I can't believe it. Completely unacceptable. What's going on here? Oh, come on. Oh, you prick! No, 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 no. That's not how any of this works. I'm not- I'm not giving those up. I want them. I want all of it. All of it, you hear? <clears throat> I will take all of it. Oh, it's just smithing stones? Well, that's disappointing. Yep, it's just smithing stones. And then there's some flasks as well. Oh, this is a stairway down. So if you're up top and you want to like come back down, you can do that. No, no, Albinorix, we're not interested right now. Feel free to ring us back later, though. So how do I get up top? I'm guessing this way. Who's that? Guess we'll find out. There's actually an item here. Excuse me. You can barely see these items because of the- OW! Okay, so is this actually gonna be like a jumping puzzle to get up there? Because it kind of feels like it. No, there's just straight up the path. Yep, these are the guardians of the earth tree. And there's the stake of Marika. Okay, where's the Earth Tree Avatar? Not home? Earth Tree Avatar! Hello? Really, there isn't one? Oh, there it is. There he is. So how are we doing this? Do I just, like, go ham on it? I think I'm just gonna go ham on it, straight up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just, like, straight up go ham, murder it, go home. You guys think that'll work? Let's figure it out. Uh, I don't have an Art of War now on it. Oh, well. Let's go ham on it. Ba boom. Ba boom. This one was easy. Give me my shield back. Give me my armor back. Thorny cracked tier. Ruptured cracked tier. I'm hoping that's an upgrade to the break tier that I usually use. That'd be fantastic. If that was an upgrade to the cracked tier that I tend to use, we'll look at it in a bit. I just want to find. Um, I just want to see if there's anything else up here, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, and this should be the... Oh, no, it's not. 
I was about to say that this would be the thing with the way down, but no. I was wrong. There is no way down here. But there is supposed to be, like, uh, a way down. There's a crab down there? I don't remember seeing a crab. So here, yeah, here's the way down. So I saw a crab, like, all whoa, 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 whoa. My dude, my guy, stop. That was not cool. Yeah, that's right, you better run away. Anyway, 161,000. This will give me enough runes to utilize the rest of my materials on the axe. And then I can play around with the axe a little bit, I guess. Ba boom Finally, a slashing weapon I'll be able to use. That'll be good. Okay, let's take a look at it. We might even be able to get a level out of this. No, I don't think so. Because once I start spending on upgrades, it's just straight up not going to happen. Home Slice, what's well, up? I took you for no matter of course you took me for dead. Around. You're like a dog. I stay away for like five seconds. It's like, must be dead. Probably died. Nice guy. I actually used to like him. Twenty-one, we pushed through! Twenty-two, and now we need two more smithing stones. Eight. Eight. It's pretty good, though. Let's see what we're, what we're working with. Ooh, B scaling. So, 351 plus 322, that'll be, uh, 673. 673 versus... <laughs> Six Versus 800. <laughs> it's not even remotely fair. But sure, I'll use it for a little bit. It'll be fun. <laughs> I just like the fact that it's got, like, red coloring on it. I love it. Uh, either way, uh, now the zone that we have to go and explore is over here. So let me see if I can remember this. So we ran past this to come over here. So I should explore this section now. Did I run past anything else here? I don't I don't think so. Well, let's actually come from the freezing lake. No wait, because the freezing lake you can't actually go here. You have to go wait, first church of Marika. Uh let's figure it out. Let's go here. Wait, uh no, no no no. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. Here is better. Here is better. Here is the way to go. I wonder how much it takes to build up Scarlet Rot. Actually, that's that's a really good thing with this uh, axe. Is that if we put... The eruption on it... The thing about it is that... Um, because of the fact that, like, can I even enchant... Okay, oh, wow, I can enchant it with Blood Flame?! You can put Scarlet Rot and Bleeding on this. That's good. That's, that's like a really cool status weapon. Which is something that I've been wanting. And I think this might be the first like really heavy duty weapon that can do this type of shit. But as I was saying, the thing about this, because of the fact that I've used um, Blood, Blood Flame Blade on the hammer, I've noticed that what happens is the ticks of damage from eruption because eruption leaves the lava on the ground right the ticks of damage from eruption uh actually proc the bleeds as well so that means that the ticks of damage from eruption on this one will probably trigger scarlet rot which makes it uh pretty powerful i would say maybe Mm -hmm. So this would be the Ever Jail, right? Did I? I don't think I went to that tower, did I? Yeah, this is the Ever Jail, and that's the tower that we didn't go to. It's got marionettes all over the place. I never did find the Imp Ashes, which you supposedly can get in game.
Skyrim my way up here. What is that? We'll see it in a second. Falling snow marks something unseen. These are my footprints. Oh, it's these dudes. Except they actually deal damage now. Mana back. No, wait, I have the jumping thing. Oops. <clears throat> okay. What have we got here? Old Fang. Falling snow marks something unseen. I'm gonna sneak up behind this guy and stab him in the chest. In the back, actually, but... A bonk! Well, team, I don't know how to access this one. Like, I'm gonna be real, I've even been testing out some guiding stones, as you can see here. Uh, my suspicion is that supposedly the falling snow is supposed to mark a path that allows you to get inside through that balcony. And the reasoning behind that is because I actually went all the way downstairs and I used the um, bird's eye telescope. And you can see that it's like cracked the balcony there. And my theory is that there's some kind of like invisible passageway that's supposed to reveal itself when snow is falling. But... I can't, I can't find the passage that I'm supposed to find, and I don't feel like spending like hours upon hours in here. So, you know, I tried, I looked around, I've been around the place quite a bit, couldn't figure it out, so we're going to move onwards. So besides this, uh, I wanted to come and explore this town, so let's start heading there. In case we missed something. The first time that we were there. And again, the whole thing about snow is that there were plenty of spots that didn't have snow, but there didn't appear to be any particular significance to them. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back there later, we'll figure it out. Or, you know, maybe it's just one of those things that I look up after I finish my first playthrough. Uh, okay, that's uh, just a blue one. Or blue flasks. A little bit of a castle structure there that we kind of skipped through first time around. We're going to be going there. I know how long this episode is at this point. Because this is the second file that I'm recording. That didn't, I don't really know how much I'll have to edit out of the first one. So, whatever. We'll figure it out. Oh, damn. Dude's got, like, uh, blood stuff. Ooh, there's a prelate here. This is the fire castle. Why don't you settle down a little bit, no? Oof. Come on, give him the rot, give him the rot. No. It's like, fast weapons are the only ones that can really... 
that can really build up this stuff at a reasonable pace. I want to kind of kill that guy, though. I kind of feel that he will give me good stuff. Bonk. Oh, he's got like... He's got like fire in his eyes. Gotta be like that, huh? Bonk. That's a lot of damage. Try this. Let's see if we can rock this one. Ow. Seriously? Still no Scarlet Rot? Man, this axe is turning out to be pretty disappointing. The worst part is that I already upgraded it. Oh well, it is what it is. Sunken cost fallacy, I'm gonna keep upgrading it, whatever. Because it also, it can be used to diversify my damage type, at least. So I could just pop a mimic and murder everything in here. I'm not sure that that is gonna be particularly interesting. Two of those big boys up there. Ooh. What's that? Don't mind me. Wait, did I lose my no I don't. Think. Ash of War Prelate's Charge. There it is. That it is. That it is. Accept it. It's fine. Just accept it. It's all good. Crazy old lady. You crazy old lady. This lady's crazy. What's wrong with you? She is certifiable. Now, do I kill the rest of these? Because there's those two over there are scaring me a little bit. Because there's two of them. Mm -hmm. Wow, some of these froze over. Some of these just legit froze over. What the hell?
Ah, the hell with it. We'll go kill those two as well. Why not? Let's murder this one first. Die! Crap, he didn't fall. He didn't actually fall. That's not good. Dodge your way here, pop this. Let's get to work. No! The most dangerous thing turned out to be the lady. This bitch is crazy, look at her. Staff of the Guilty. Hey, I got the Staff of the Guilty. Is this what she's been using to poke, her, poke me around? Staff of the Guilty. What is it? What in bloody hells is it? Eh? The Staff of the Guilty. I cannot find it. Oh, come on. Can't be a colossal weapon. Is it actually like... A friggin' spellcasting staff. It is. Staff of the guilty. Flintstone staff. Reticle staff. Fast smoldering, withering, sapling that turns the blood of sacrifices pierced by it by stone. Sorcerers are skilled with faith rather than intelligence when wielding this staff, which is hence its thorn source. <gasps> Excuse me. Thorn sorceries in particular. Okay. Guardian's Garrison. Okay, but I think that this episode's probably getting long at this point, so tell you guys what. We're gonna be calling it here. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. If you're enjoying the show, the friggin' playthrough, I can't speak right now for some reason, like button, subscribe, bell notification on, icon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.